Uh, Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to this episode of Simi Pro. And on today's episode, we watch a Ninja Turtles knockoff movie called Warriors of Virtue. And we're going to be back to talk about it here in just a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to the first episode of uh, Simi Pro that is on video. If you're watching on YouTube, and it's for Simi. this movie, yeah, it's, it's for fitting. Warriors it's of for Virtue. Silent Night, Deadly Night too. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, because we both wearing the Silent Night, Deadly Night Part Two sweaters, yo. Um, yeah, hey, so we watched. Josh also has it on. You just can't. You just can't see his yeah, camera. Can, well, you can. You can see Josh's camera. Yeah, no, you like can that. see. You can see he's. Yeah, that's what Josh is it doing like currently. That. Um, yeah. So we watched a movie called Warriors of of Virtue, which none of us prior to watching this had ever seen before, and we're all yeah. somewhat presently surprised by. Uh, I'd say yeah. so. I'd say I'd say very presently, pleasant, pleasantly surprised. Present, yeah. yeah, quite quite present. I, I was very present during the yeah. film. In this well, not that, but this, I was definitely not was present. Quite, I did not this watch. This film was quite the gift. Yeah, quite the present. Yeah, um, yeah. We 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 kind of skipped the part because some stuff messed up with the recording where we talk about our predictions and and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I I liked it. I liked this. Yeah, no, this was very fun. It was um, great, great stunt work. Um, Fantastic. Very, very good. Almost too good um, animatronic prop kangaroo people. Yeah. Uncanny good, Valley good, good type. Uncanny Valley. Uncanny very, Valley yeah, kangaroos. Fantastic production. Lo the movie the, the, looked the sets beautiful. Looked great. Yeah. Uh, the, the costumes looked wonderful. The, like, it, it, it looked, it was shot very well. That was on like, video, it, Daniel. <laughs> no. Everything on a technical <laughs> level looked really, really good. It did. Uh, it, well, and and the plot was okay. The the plot the plot was there. Yeah, it was. It, it yeah, it had a. It was it was about what I expected, if not a little more. <laughs> I guess it was. I don't know. Yeah, the plot is what yeah. I expected from this movie. The rest of the stuff is what elevated it beyond yeah. what I expected because I didn't expect great things simply because I had never heard of it that was my right. biggest thing is like I've never heard of this movie and I feel like I would have heard of it if there were anything of note and plot wise uh, there there wasn't um, but we'll get into that in, in just a second let's talk positives first um, we already talked about the animatronics and the costume design it was fantastic across the board uh, set design was great. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there was a the really production cool in general swamp. was really good. There was a really cool swamp at the beginning that was awesome. the The villains' lair was awesome. The little town where the 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 ruse, as they're called, live was awesome. One of the um one of the ruse had a uh, a little shield uh, that looked like a hat that also looked like a turtle shell on his right. back because right. he's a title in a trench coat i did a little counter of every time there was a, a knockoff turtles <laughs> yeah. thing and this it is was this is 100 accurate not not biased yeah. or, it was it was nine uh -huh. times that there was yeah. a direct turtles knockoff like one yeah, of the no, kangaroos on the is like a turtle the villains look like right. master shredder the guy is yeah. directly splinter like all of those different things um so that happened uh, and that was fun. I, I, the, the stunt work, the fight choreography was great. It felt like, um, mm -hmm. it felt like an, an anime, but also like a nineties action movie mixed with an anime. That's what the most, what it felt like. Yeah. It, it felt like, like a nineties, like samurai ninja movie. Power, Power Rangers with a budget. Yeah. Power Rangers with a budget is a great way to put it. Mm -hmm. Josh. And, and it, it also felt a bit like sort of uh like jackie chan movies from the mid 90s yeah yeah where, you right. know th there's a lot of smoke and a lot of people mm -hmm. doing cool stunts and flips and punches and kicks big fl uh, big flips big kicks big flips, big, big kicks with wire works yeah mm -hmm. lots of yeah. wires yes which you don't see a ton anymore which is nice right. that's, yeah, like, nice that, 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 you know? that's one of the things i was thinking about when we were watching this is you know the the wire work. It's not. I wouldn't say it's obvious wire works. You can't see the wires, but you know what it is. 
But like, right. it was refreshing because for the last like 10 years since we invented CG, there's really no need for one. Yeah, 10 years anymore. ago when CGI mm -hmm. was invented. <laughs> CGI invented for Avatar 1. Fun fact. Then, <laughs> yeah. uh, Which was uh, actually more than... more than 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, it, it was like, like 12. Close enough. Um, but like because of that, you don't really see a lot of wire work nowadays because they can just make a CG model and throw everything at that. Uh, a lot uh, or any? Because you really, you see none. And then you you see some like they they usually do it and then they CGI over it. But there right. is some like there, there's some wire works in there sometimes. There was but only does... one super obvious uh, <clears throat> a stunt double in the movie. But we'll get to that when we do the plot breakdown. But yeah, a lot of overwhelmingly positive stuff. And we'll kind of get to the negative towards it is, the end. It is. The whole Miles movie felt than, overwhelmingly positive, if yeah, I'm being honest. Right. It is much better than uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze. Yeah, that's that's what we, we I think, initially compared it to in the right. recording that was lost. It's I definitely in the, in the way, lost footage. It's definitely way more interesting. Thought. I'd first want yeah, to say that it's absolutely. better than uh, Turtles 3, Turtles in Time. I don't I would know put that it, I, I, said, I said that. I said that about halfway through, and I think it's on par. It's better at times, but, but it's also high, it's also it worse at times. That, but the lower, yeah. Are lower, yeah. That, yeah. That, that's been a recurring theme in this in this whole franchise is that the highest <laughs> this, fran movie. this franchise of the franchise of, of, of the 90s Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles movies Turtles and 2 then... Secret of these and Turtles 3 uh, Turtles in Time and then World Wars <laughs> <laughs> and yeah Turtles 4 yeah, um, uh, yeah it, it I don't know that I had as good of a time watching it as I did Turtles 3 but it may well, have yeah, still but... been better yeah, well, I think I only didn't because it wasn't the Ninja Turtles, and right. I I'm like a little kid that likes the Ninja Turtles. Cor yeah, that's that's where <laughs> I'm at. I, I, if this was a Ninja Turtles movie, mm -hmm. it would be the coolest Ninja Turtles movie ever. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't. So it's a shame that this movie was the kangaroos. It's a shame this movie was the Kung kangaroos, the Kung ruse. <laughs> The Kung Roos, yeah. Oh, I get it. I just, I just pieced that together in my brain, honestly, if I'm being honest. All right, so Josh, um, Josh, why don't you, why don't you break down the plot for us? Oh no, what a shame! I've lost all of my details about the plot. Uh, uh, um, there uh, were nine it, Ninja Turtles references. Uh, it, it all, it all starts out in the real world where we follow real. Kind of, the real world. We follow the morning of uh, of a young boy named Ryan, who he's on the toilet and his yeah, dog drops him a piece of toast through the window. Yeah, yeah. old slobbery uh, ass toast. <laughs> he eats the the toast that is covered with dog slobber while on the toilet, uh, and he then goes to a Chinese restaurant. Does he live near the Chinese restaurant? Is that like a thing? I get. I mean, it's in town. I, I don't for sure. know. It's, yeah. He, he he goes to a Chinese nearby, restaurant. Nearby, I guess. And he he watches the single most cracked cooking it's scene so I've ever cool. seen. The it's, dude it's, is so cool. He made cooking look freaking epic. He was whipping up some uh, egg fry rice. Yes, like crazy. dude. Some, and he's watching well, some shrimp fry this rice. The only thing he missed <laughs> was there was no soy sauce in the fried rice. Yeah. But other than that, it looked it looked good. But he, watching him cook it was the coolest thing ever, and it, it also inspired so yeah. Sam Raimi's Spider Man. That it, well, I think that, that, that was doesn't come too yeah. late. Oh, come my fault. Late. My fault. I jumped. I jumped yeah. the gun. It's, yeah, uh, it's, cool. a, it's a guy cool. named. Cool. It's a guy named Ming who runs the restaurant, and he's like he's like doing flips, and he he roundhouse kicks a tap to turn some water on. He's like he's like slamming a fish onto counters like it's nunchucks. It looks so sick. <coughs> uh, and he not not once but like three times throws rice behind him onto a plate that he can't see and it's like it's done in one shot so i have to believe it's somewhat legit too yeah no he yeah. really did that i think yeah it, like i mean it was definitely done in several takes but it was right, definitely it wasn't the their first try but it it's him and he's doing it legitimately right. and uh he, he can tell ryan's like on the stairs down way to the kitchen and he goes hey ryan two steps to your left and then he throws him some rice into his bowl without looking it's yeah, so yeah. crazy for, for free for oh, free. free, I wish I could have gotten Chinese for free. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wish I was Ryan. Yeah, uh, I wish I was a teenage mutant ninja turtle. Yeah, you are. You're Raphael. Yeah, this, this is also this is also when uh, Ming starts talking to him about a legendary place called Tao, 
uh, which he which says should is be like pronounced a, Dao. Yeah, it, it should, should be pronounced, it should Dao. Be pronounced Dao. Yeah, but they everyone in the movies other than me they all say Dao. Dao. Yeah, uh, and he he says it's a world without a lot of stuff. And Does Ming say them, it as Dao? I don't. Uh, did he even say it? Uh, I don't think I he think said, he said it. it as Dao. Yeah. I think uh, you're imagining that. Yeah, cause... I think you're making that up. But yeah, he, 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 say, had a, uh, he had an accent at first, and then it it dropped. Right. He, he does say that it's a world without morphine. Yeah, uh, that is true. He did specifically say, said, which is a, a said, very odd thing to shout out. That's not what he said. Yeah. He said morphing. He did. No, he no, said cause morphine. I, cause, no, because I was watching the captions. No, he said he said morphing, and we joked about it. Am I gonna? Have, am I gonna have to? No, yeah, I think he said the caption morphing. said morphing, but he said morphine. Am I gonna have to pull it back up? No, no, no I don't it's, care it's enough. Fine. But but <laughs> why would he say morphing and not? Why morphine? would he say morphine? Because it's a drug. That's a bad thing. Like it's. I mean, no, he said morphing. It's, it's which a bad. No, make it, sense what does that mean? Context. He said he said morphing, like like mighty morphin Power Rangers, right? It doesn't make because sense. What? I'm not saying it, it makes yeah, sense. It still doesn't make any sense. He says it's like a world without like danger. Or I like think that. I think he was a morphine addict, and he, um, you know, he, he really something on his mind. That, I, you know, I think he was fighting some demons. I think whoever made this, um, the same guy that made Bride of Chucky was fighting some demons. And Freddy that is possible. Jason. And Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah, yeah, that part is de- uh, almost definitely so, true. <laughs> so from this though, he Ryan heads off. He heads to school. And he watches his local team play football. And this is when we learn that Ryan has a leg they, brace. They make, yeah, they make fun of him yeah. for, he, for being for his <laughs> severe disability. He, he goes up yeah. to them while they're in a team huddle and he goes, hey, hey, what if you, uh, you should, you should like duck to the left because they're all going to go to the right or something like that. And instead of yeah, being he gives, like, them, oh, he gives them good advice, he yeah, gives them a good, good a good play advice, and they yeah. spit, they spit yeah, on him and call of, him a gimp. <laughs> Instead of being like, okay, thanks, man. Like, just humoring him. Even if you're not going to do it, just say, oh, thanks, dude. And then you leave him be. The, the main guy spits on his feet and then goes gimp and then walks off. Yeah. And then ends up using his play to get a touchdown. Uh, mm-hmm. And then just, like, riding off into the sunset. Not before Ryan uh, talks to his best friend, Chucky, uh, who right. dresses like a 50-year-old man. <laughs> he he dripping. Right. <laughs> he, he had a little bit of drip. <laughs> he and was so busy. so him and Ryan they make their way home. They start their walk back to the house. Uh, and the the guy who spit on him earlier, along with his little posse, ride by them on bikes. And Chucky says, uh, <laughs> "Did you say something or did you fart?" A very hard. <laughs> the line. best line from the whole movie. They're yeah, riding genuinely. by, and the kid says something. And then the dude just like, hey, man, squeals his to... bike tires. He goes, you say yeah. something or did you fart? <laughs> it's so great, dude. And this, guy, this guy is like the this guy is like the worst actor ever, too. Like, he's, <laughs> yes, he's he not the so single line. Bad. But he delivers he kind of, that one perfectly he kind <laughs> in of the worst acts, way possible. Uh, he, he acts like he's never spoken to a human being before. Yeah. I think and, uh, the did you say something or did you fart guy is is not the main bad guy. Was it not? I think he's like his his crony. He, yeah, I think that was like his buddy or something. Uh, but but Chucky's like, hey, you stole everything from Ryan. Like you took all you took his right. advice and then didn't credit him. Uh, and he, the main bully, whose name I don't even know, is like. Guy who looks like guy who guy looks who like looks like, like Will Poulter. Yeah, uh, eyebrows kid, aka <laughs> right. Josh. Joshua Clements. He's a big uh, guy. right. He he's like he's like. Oh, do you guys want to want to hang out with us? Well, meet us by the above the tunnel at midnight. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't say it quite like that. No, it was. He does. It was more like, "Hey, <laughs> would you guys like to hang out with us later? Meet no, us." It was, and- like, it was like, <laughs> "You guys want to hang out at the Aurora Tunnel later?" It's like, like that, it, right? it, that's pretty, that was pretty good, actually. I like that. I like that. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's it's some of the worst acting. <laughs> it's bad. Like genuinely, it, yeah. It's, it's not. It's not great. It's, it's not, not good. Great. It's nothing. It's not even remotely good. Thing. Uh, yeah. But this is. I, they they say, yeah, sure. Maybe that was his dad. <laughs> we'll meet you. Uh, we'll meet you at this tunnel, and then you know they'll ride off. Ryan. Ryan heads back home. Not before stopping off at Ming's, and this is when we find out that this movie no, directly inspired no, Sam Raimi. No, 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 no. Yeah. This is when his mom makes him the lasagna nope, from the microwave. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, he's shut right. up. He's right. So, he's right. so yeah, his mom makes him mom. microwave lasagna, and it it does not. It it's looks okay, shit. but his mom doesn't it, think it looks edible. 
So he it, gives him money. No, he tries to, it's no, he to tries look to inedible. It. He puts like, a fork in it, and it's like hard. It's like, well, yeah, it's like no, it solid. looks fine. It's just the sound effects they played over it and make it. Well, sound yeah, bad. but it was it was it looked like a little burnt. Kind yeah, of. but yeah. you could still. I would have fucked it up. Still, yeah, for sure. Uh, so she gives yeah, him like Ming me. money, and then that's when he goes to Ming's. Right, he goes. He goes to Ming's, and there's a, an old cranky Chinese dude there who's like walking around the kitchen trying to carry all these plates, and he keeps bumping into Ryan, and he yells at him, and he's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, man." And then he slips all the plates, and all the stuff goes up in the air. When and that's when Ming runs to the rescue and catches them all, and he catches everything on the plates, and it's so cracked and it looks so good and sam raimi stole it for spider-man it looks yeah. at least as good as it looked in spider-man i, I would say that it looks I would better say a than bit it did. better maybe Cause just, no because th- this is your spider-man bias showing through Donald. yeah absolutely because i mean yeah when 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 ming catches them you can see everything on the plates is like rolling around and he he like no, no, balances no. But back also out. but also this is mostly for people watching on youtube he caught one of them Flipped it and caught yeah, it like that. That was cool. And that then was wore it back around. Yeah, yeah, that was that insane. Part was cool. And it, yeah, and it, it's so sick. Uh, and Ming, I just wish there was more Ming. I wish he was the hero yeah. of the story. I, been... I really do. <laughs> yeah, Ming that's the part been. that doesn't make sense. Maybe Ming was one of the warriors, and you just couldn't see it through his makeup. Mm, or maybe, maybe he was supposed to be. Mm-hmm. I don't, because the whole thing is a dream, and we'll get to that at the end. Well, yeah, well, it's not, though. It definitely we'll, we'll is, like, no, without we'll, we'll a doubt. It kind of is, but it's not. It's, well, he, it starts, he starts telling his dog it, the legend. It is in the way that anything, that that it, like, yeah, it could, it could, like, it was like, all like, never just a dream. Stories. Yeah. Like, yeah, which it, the never-ending story was never a dream. It wasn't a dream. No, nah, it wasn't. That was real. That's it's a dream a, in the same way the Wizard of Oz is a dream, where a kid might as well have woke up in his bed and said, wow, that was a weird dream. <laughs> no, he said it was real because he said he to his friend, he, he said, we got a lot to talk about. Yeah, because he's yeah. he's a psychopath and he thinks it's no, real, but it's actually no, a dream. No, 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 it's, no, it's, no. It's, it's true. But this is it was so real. Well, I choose to believe. It's a I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. It's I choose, my childhood I choose to have faith. I choose to have my child. I choose, it's a little something called Dalton, it's a little something Dalton, called faith, Dalton. Dalton. You might want to look it up. Don I believe in the ruse. I believe in the ruse. I believe in the Kung ruse. I believe in the Riz. Uh, right, while, continue while, with yeah. the plot. Well, Sin the whole thing. Uh, Ming Ming shows him his dream. bedroom, which is how you all know that it's a nineties movie. A dream. You need to wake up. It's all wake just up. a dream. It's all a dream. Wake up. Are you two done yet? Wake up. <laughs> it's a dream. Run. Sin. All right, Fingers so on Josh, break down the plot. Hands yeah, on hips. Come on, hurry up, man. Come on. Uh, <laughs> come on. Ming, Ming shows him his bedroom, and this is where he gives him the legendary Book of Tao. Which is how you can tell this is a 90s movie, yeah, because and there's he's, a he's little a kid in a grown man's uh, bedroom, and it's not concerning at all. This is when, is this is when we sweater. noticed... This is when we notice his accent um, disappeared. It, disappeared. Yeah, at <laughs> some point in the first 15 <laughs> minutes of this movie, his accent has disappeared. Yeah. He 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 acclimatized to the the American way, right? Uh, yeah, the accent was just for for show. Can't say, that. but he he uh no, just you know he lived there for long enough that he developed an American accent. <laughs> Keep going. He uh he gives he gives Ryan a cockroach that he found, and he's like, it's, it's a it's, cocoon, it's, it's a cocoon. cocoon, and yeah. I found it once, and it was dead. It was a little yeah, it was and, in a jar. It was a little jar with. Some sand and rocks and um, a little little black cocoon, little black ball. Yeah, and he tells the story. He's like, I found it and it was dead. And so I, I found it and I, I killed it and now I felt bad, so I put it in a jar. Uh, and he gives him the legendary he's book. Like, okay, now, man. And he's like, this book will teach you how to, to have all the virtues you need to survive in life. All the no virtues. Yo! Even, <laughs> even, even with your leg brace, which I know you're ashamed of. You'll still be able to do everything you ever want. I don't think to. he was ashamed of it. I think he was just sad he couldn't play football. Yeah, I think yeah. it was much more that than that he was ashamed. Yeah, of I, don't think, I don't think any part of him was ashamed of, oh, of being mercy. physically disabled. It, well, that's why he gives him the virtues, so that he knows that he he uh, believes in himself and he knows that he can do anything no matter yeah. what. Uh, right, right. And he goes, yeah, he's as like, long as he's in a magic universe where <laughs> right, correct. He, like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And he goes, he goes. I don't need any more self-help books, and just storms off. 
goes back. Right. Uh, yeah, he, right. But he does take the book. Well, I think he does, dude slips it in his backpack. He like yeah, he puts it in the backpack. Yeah. So he just walks off. Uh, he ends up going to the tunnel with with the the bad kids with the bully. Where, yeah. Right. And they yeah, they they take them into the sewer with Josh, which yeah. is where Ninja Turtle reference too. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, no, more than no. two at this point. It's yeah. Is it it could have been one. That. I don't. I don't. It, I don't it know. Could have, it very well could have been the first one. <laughs> it, it, it might have been. There's a good chance it is. There, there's a very good chance yeah. it's the first one. But they. Good they the only from one. This, uh, <laughs> from this this tunnel, they <laughs> go into the sewers, and uh, Vine gets forced by lead bully to cross like a tube over a swirling vortex of water. <laughs> it's a little pipe. Yeah, it's pretty. And, yeah, it's pretty. And cool. he's like, he's like. Hey, spray your tag, and it's just like a lot of names on this wall that's on the opposite side. And so, yeah. Ryan doesn't want to do it because no. you know right, you wouldn't. Right it's, a, it's a it's a health and safety. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to do that myself. With right, the, it, the correct, because it, it, it is I definitely a way to wouldn't want to do it in his situation. Yeah, uh, I have two working murder. legs, and yeah. I would not want to do that. <laughs> right. The mm-hmm. the bully the bully goes no nah, I got this no and then he bit. does it he gets to the other side and he he taunts Ryan and he's like hey get over here come on do it do it do it yeah he's like what are you a bitch what are you stupid? and then he looks and, at uh, the pipe and he says bitch, but... it can take a dump whenever it wants yeah right. and we're, and we're at, sitting and we're, here we're, talking we're, we're, and we're I like, said oh, that, oh what that if that's a setup <laughs> and then the pipe cuts on. <laughs> <laughs> as we're saying like, it. As, so as like, Don's saying, like, oh, is that a setup for something? I guess it was a setup. Uh, it was just yeah. a setup for it's, right it's then like, and there. It's, it's, a fucking, it's a pipe that directly overlooks where Ryan is. Like, that exact spot on the, uh, the pipe that he's crossing. And it, it happens... It happens within... Genuinely, greatest movie of all time. 15 seconds of the kid saying that it takes a dump sometimes. <laughs> it's oh, also truly, funny he calls it taking a dump. And yeah, like, that part was sure, funny. Like, uh, so, so a lot of water shoots out there and knocks Ryan into the swirling vortex, meaning this bully has just killed a, a small child. Correct. That's the yeah. thing. He's yeah. like, he's like running he's around. Like, oh no! Yeah, and he's but but he's dead. Like he, he just killed dead. this kid. <laughs> yeah, this kid Bro is named drowning. But he woke uh, but, up in a swamp. Right. Ryan. Ryan goes through yeah. this this mysterious portal, and he ends up in this swampland, the land of Tau. Uh, it's pronounced <laughs> which Tau. Is, <laughs> right. He uh Ryan gets hit by the dookie <laughs> into the other world is where is what I wrote in my notes. Mm, uh that's good. I'm glad someone take, took notes. You did not take notes. <laughs> no, I believe Josh took notes, otherwise he wouldn't remember anything. I, no, he has the plot <laughs> written on his computer and that he Googled it. Yeah. Right. That's uh, notes. This is as soon as he comes out of the water in the swamp, Ryan is immediately attacked by the not foot. They're not the hand, but they're not not the foot. Right. Uh, yeah. they're, they're ninjas. Say that armor. sentence for me one more time, slow, <laughs> so I can try and These understand what you said. The Ryan, not, Ryan the, gets out of the water he, in the swamp. They're not they the hand, but they're not not the, the foot. The, or or did you say the, they're not the hand, but they're not the not foot? Yes. It doesn't matter. Whatever Josh said probably isn't what he meant, and whatever he meant probably didn't make sense. <laughs> but the idea is there. They right, they're not the, the hand, foot, they're they not the, the foot, foot, but they're the rip-off version of both. Correct. Sure. Yeah, well, okay, they're, cool. both, they're the same. The hand and the foot are the same, because right. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Daredevil take place in the same universe. They're right. The same. Um, uh, but this is, this, is when <laughs> we, this is when we see the wire work go crazy, because yeah. they get attacked by a monster that we can't see, other than his eyes, his, his blood-red eyes that just stare at them all. His eyes. And he's That's got an ear, you eyes. can see his ear. You can see some ears, yeah, and he's like yeah, he's, he's jumping around and kicking them. Tail. There. <laughs> they're going flying all over the place. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan gets hit, and he this video his podcast backpack. thing is going to take some getting used to. Uh, what are you yeah, I was about, wondering man? why you decided to do that when I know what you two were like. Uh, what, do you mean? what are you talking about? Yeah, watch yourself. And then uh, Ryan's backpack gets kicked off him at one point. His backpack containing the book of Tao, along with a load of other. It's shit. pronounced Tao. It's pronounced Tao. Uh, and then so Ryan, Ryan makes a break for it and starts running from the giant kangaroo man that he's seen. Right. And yeah, I mean, as, and as why, you why wouldn't he? Yeah. 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 yeah and that's because this, this is when he realizes that he can run. Yeah. No, 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 well, no, 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 no. That's when he after. first gets there. That first, oh, was... first he gets tripped over by the midget from uh, Twin Peaks. You right, can't right. call them that. The dwarf from Twin Peaks. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> Uh, he he gets tripped over by the dwarf from Twin Peaks who 
he tries to <laughs> steal something from him. You can't he? call him that either, Josh. <laughs> okay. Well, what's the name then? Little people. Okay. He gets he gets uh, tripped over by the demon from Twin Peaks. <laughs> That's the role <laughs> he played. He played a demon. <laughs> He played. He played. He played the demon in the Black Lodge in Twin Peaks. That's all I'm referencing. <laughs> Just keep going. <laughs> Just keep it rolling, Josh. I'm trying to figure out where he goes from there because he. I think. I think he gets. <clears throat> I think Michael J. Anderson, who plays Mudlap, which is the the guy who trips over. Uh, uh, yeah, the little, yeah. the little, yeah. He, he the gets, little person he gets, from Twin Peaks. Right. Guy, he, the little guy from Twin Peaks with the suit and tie, and he's got his face backwards. You, you act like this. <laughs> he, uh, he gets scared off by Alicia, who's like a, a Galadriel type of character. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot like, about her. Fairy, yeah, she's very, very princess kind white, of little white angel fairy lady. Yeah, uh, and she, then yeah, he's got that statutory riz. Yeah, and he gets pulled back to to the land of, I guess, I, I guess the city of Tao. Right, the Tao. it's one of the like Tao good Tao. springs or whatever. It's it's one of the life springs, life which is yeah, life springs, springs is their name for it. Yeah, spring. which we don't know what they are. They're full of unobtainium. Yeah, um, no, it's v- validium. validium. Validium, sure, but yeah. whatever they're full of, uh, essentially, <laughs> they're full of valium. <laughs> they're full of shit. <laughs> essentially, uh, that material um, works as an anti-aging agent, and the an the, bad guy, the bad guy of this movie is consuming Komodo. it to keep himself. Yeah, Komodo, like the dragon, is consuming it to keep himself. Uh, I young. thought it, I thought it was Komodo, like the where. <laughs> I thought it was Komodo because the way I kept remembering it was Komodo Dragon, but it very well could have been Komodo. Yeah, uh, no, yeah there's a was, good chance I, I don't remember anything that I think, it was, I think it was Komodo. But, but, yeah, Ryan, Ryan gets pulled back to this. this uh, Ryan Unicorn comes back to this imaginary land. <laughs> and uh, he he starts speaking to Master Chung, who's the, the Splinter. Who is Master Splinter? Right. We'll just, and we're only going to call him Splinter throughout the rest of this and he, discussion. He, he, yeah. This is when, this is when well, Splinter tells Ryan why everyone wants the Book of Tao, because apparently... Uh, they need that to stop their their evil ruler Komodo from taking over like the, the entire land, because he he wants the life spring so that he can stay immortal and stay young and stay healthy and continue being an evil ruler. They want to stop him from from doing that because it drains the land and it's it it's all a, a it's a nineties deforestation uh, plot, right, but just yeah, masked right, with, right. with fantasy with fantasy, with fantasy yeah. stuff. This is also when uh, Master Splinter tells us about the turtles of this universe. Correct. There are five of them. There is Lai, who is the virtue of order and is meticulous and he has a giant wooden stick. Uh there is Sun That's Donatello. Right, yeah, correct. there's Sun, who is the virtue of royalty, who is kind and nursing, and just so happens to be a, a woman kangaroo. Correct, that's, a um, woman guru. That's the one from a kangaroo. Next that's the one from Next Mutation with the braid. Um, right there. Then there is then there is Chi, who is a lot. He's high wisdom, but also a pyromaniac, and just starts shooting fire into. He's into the everything. he's the Leonardo of the group. No, I think that's Michelangelo. Was that the red then, one or was that the silver one? That was the red one. Ah, never mind. I lied. That's that's yeah, so the silver one. The silver one is Yi, who is righteousness, and he doesn't speak. Yeah, because... that's me. I yeah, think he's yeah. righteous. They, they Bro, throw off the line about righteous. Righteous. Cowboy. Right. Right. So I've how... always been a fan of Cowboy Bunga. <laughs> he, he won't right. speak until all is right in the world, something like that. Mm. Um, uh, he won't speak until he's that. corrected his mistake. No, no, no. That's the. Other oh, one. yeah, you're right. That's the. Never mind. I like that. That's I when we learn about the leader Yun, who has exiled himself mm. because he. Uh, no, he is... I think the the one who doesn't speak is is the leader. The other one just no. exiled no, no, no. himself. No, no, no. Cause, Yun cause, no, because Splinter no, says because we the know. Yo, it's shut up! The leader. It's said he was the leader. No, because go back. Go no, back. I will. Go back I will right pull now. it up right now. On the recording right they're, now. They're talking in the in the discussion, and we were talking whether the leader was Splinter or if the other dude was Splinter because they call him the leader, and so I was like, well, maybe since he's the leader, he's Splinter, but no, yeah. turns yeah. out. 
He's not Splinter. Other dude is Splinter. And he's Leonardo. But it was the silver one who doesn't speak. He's the wise leader one. He's not no. the leader. It's, 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 it's specifically it's said. All right, hold on. I'm it's pausing Yoon, the recording. I'm pausing. Yoon, the, I'm pausing. Yoon, the, I'm pausing. We were all saying the same not. thing. I don't Yoon understand. You were disagreeing with us. I'll be, I'll be sure disagreeing be with us. No, no. All right, start the fucking recording. I already did. <laughs> You're a dick. Yeah. <laughs> You're a dick. Dong was wrong. It was Yun. Yun is uh, the leader. No. He's exiled himself because he's Yun, Yun is the leader. Despite that, he is all. No. He he oh, he's exiled no. himself because he killed. Um, a man. That's he it. killed a man that happened to be Elysium's brother. Right. Correct. We don't know. We that. don't know that yet. Spoilers. My fault. We, we just know that Elysium had a brother that that died. died. Well, Although we don't I don't know. know that we don't know that yet. But that happens. Well, we, we find that's out. like the we next thing. Out. Yeah, the next scene is her talking to Ryan, yeah. and she says, "You remind me of my brother. My brother died in this giant war that's been going on." Uh, during this time, Ryan gets kidnapped and and like taken away, where they just so happen to encounter yeah, it was the, the the little guy. No, no, no. That was the that's later. Was it? Yeah. I thought the little guy was what led to his capture. No, that's the third time. That he gets kidnapped three times and saved three times to be brought is this back. This the first time. This is the first time he gets kidnapped yeah. by the uh, the two bald guys and the Chinese lady. We've established I don't know what happens in this movie, but I think yeah. Daniel's right. Unless Josh has the plot pulled up, in which case I agree yeah, with Josh. I, I'm gonna trust Josh because I I assume he's just no. The the, we 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 see the scene of the bad guy's lair where he drops a guy through a death trap, and then he goes, "You guys need to go get yeah. me this boy." Right, but they use little man to get him to get the boy. Yeah, because he comes no, in with the and he comes. Oh in no! When him. no, when, the you're first, wrong. no. The when little guy, when little guy tries to get him, he doesn't. Right, he gives him to the guy, and then, then Splinter stops him with what we thought. No, was no, no. Josh, sword. Josh is completely right. Yeah, because they they grab him yeah, while the, she's telling later. her story, and then but they yeah, don't actually then, get him. And then they run off, and it's they like for they nothing. run into they run into Yun, who's out in the right, out in right, the right. right. And then he beats all of them up. Ryan yeah, yeah, yells yeah. at him and goes, hey, you need to help me. He jumps off. Ryan yells again, you need to help me. And he goes, oh, yeah, you're right, mate. Sorry, my bad. It's like it, and it's, then just jumps it's, back. It's the quickest character development since Anakin yeah. Skywalker. <laughs> <make> and, <laughs> like, it's like that, like, snap of a finger quick. Hey, He's like, I will, I will like, not like, help you. Because that's how they talk in this yeah. movie. And then, he and then he's off, like, yeah. I will help you. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, and then they, they hop yeah, on. He just, he just like, like gestures to jump on his back and then they, they hop. Yeah, yeah he, but, it's legitimately, they spend a while setting up that Yuna's exiled himself. He doesn't want to come back. He doesn't want right. to help. Him Admittedly, not, not that I agree with Dalton's assessment, but this does feel like a, a dream. And that, yeah. is what we, that is what we all said while it does feel like a dream. It, it does feels... feel like it feels like... Well, we it said it like while we were watching dream. because I had a glitch in the stream that we were watching well, it on. Well, which that's what you said. I, I, I agree with that. No, I also agree with it because this movie does feel very dreamlike. Yeah. Like, it feels yeah. like something I would imagine in my head just put to... Yeah. It also feels like something that... like a, It feels like a Mandela effect. It also yeah, it like feels this, like is the, this is the remember. kind of this is the kind of movie that like somebody posts on Reddit and they're like, hey, you remember the movie with the karate kangaroos? And I can remember this movie in my head despite the yeah. fact that it doesn't exist. Yeah, that's how this and movie it, felt. Right. This this, this whole like, like I say this movie is what inspires Mandela Effect. People would watch this and then they think, oh, do you remember that scene in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles where like they they rescue that kid from the foot? And like yeah. His, his Do you remember the, the fourth fuck? Ninja Turtles right, movie right. where there's a little kid who travels through they're... the sewer? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <coughs> but yeah. So, so <laughs> Kun very quickly decides that maybe he, uh, you know, maybe his exile's over. He comes back and he agrees to go grab the book and and help Ryan get home because the who? only way Ryan can get back is through the. Oh book yeah, that yeah. He he's bought. the he's the kangaroo. I'm sorry, he's I forget the... their names. Kangaroo. Right, right. It, he's the he's the ruse. Sure. They call them the ruse in this. They call them the ruse, sure. which feels like a slur. It, it does, does like yeah. But they're they they took kung and kangaroo and they're kung ruse because they're the thing they they got like their their chi for yeah, their is chi is kung. kung. So they're yeah, they're, they're ruse kung that ruse. practice kung. They're kung. There's a lot. There's a lot of Get phrases it? in this movie that just feel wrong. They should have called it kang. 
If they yeah, wanted yeah. it to make sense, why wouldn't Kong, they call like, it Kang? Kung Fu, because it's like yeah, I, um, I get why they call like, it Kung because they want it to be like their Kung Fu kangaroos. Right. But this is but uh, without saying fine. without making fine. like the, the, Kung this Fu is kangaroos. also the next scene. It's is... fine. It's whatever. It's cool. It's cool. It's fine, and it's cool. doesn't matter. The next, the next scene is when we find out that uh, Komodo wants to escape to the real world because they're running out of life. Uh, what are they called life springs life for him to survive in this one. The Fallout Town. <laughs> right. And they, uh, he, and he once he's out, apparently, once he's out, it's not just that he will get old, but he will straight up die without the drug. Right, right. Yeah. This is also when we find out that the, the Elysium princess is on she's... his side and evil. Right. Which yeah. kind of like comes out of nowhere because you've only had two scenes with her. Yeah, right. she's not never really, really super established important. her as anything. It's right. she was just kind of there. Yeah, she she's like she's like it's like if you found out April O'Neil worked for the Foot Clan after after the turtle like, met her like for the first right time. after the first yeah the first like saving her from mugging or whatever which they do with April's cameraman in Turtles too but that's besides the point but Turtles Two is a worse movie I don't I don't care for it uh, what? I I can't the, the I think she works with the bad guy because she's mad oh, that Kun killed her brother like that's her motivation is that she wants revenge. I don't know that uh, she has a motivation. I think her brother was killed I think, because I think they it were is. both I working think... with the bad guy. No, I think that's part of her motivation, though. That's at least part of her reasoning for for dislike. Because she she doesn't seem to be fully evil. Yeah, that's she, true. She, she has doubts. Yeah. yeah, she does spoilers, say kid but, at the end, um, spoiler. But... Yeah. But, All right, it, let's, uh, we, let's we keep we then, then we find out that uh, Ryan gets kidnapped again. Ryan this is come. when... This is when he gets kidnapped by the guy from Twin Peaks. <laughs> right, Twin yeah. Peaks guy. Yeah. And he, yeah, he gets handed off he gets handed off to yeah. uh he gets handed yeah. off to one of Komodo's henchmen who takes him about five steps and then Splinter like pokes him in the chest and goes, right, Get out right. of here, you, you rascal. And takes <laughs> Ryan back. Yeah, he calls him that. He he says <laughs> He says you little you little, little scrumbly rascal scrumble. <laughs> he says, You little you little little mighty morphin munchkin <laughs> Might- <laughs> <laughs> and he smacks him around yeah and then he well he, he's just like hey be a, be a good guy and then he just walks off with ryan back to the city. <laughs> yeah they they just repeat the scene that they had earlier where they rush someone's character development uh and get ryan back to the right. city after being kidnapped uh that one that- was at least more of a slow burn Kind right. of, and and had l- no payoff whatsoever. <laughs> that one had really. no payoff kind of whatsoever. Just, it was after the uh, villain died or exploded or whatever. Spoilers, who cares? Uh, then, while this is happening, the kangaroos go to get the book from Komodo. So they have to like Correct. break into his lair. And they they get strung up. They get like chained up and hung above his little death trap spin, uh, circle hole thing. They, they get captured and... and... Then there's they a get whole speech and... thing. It's so weird because they just let them go and then, like, on purpose, they get captured and get a speech and then they get let go. They don't, well, no, they, they don't they, let they, them they go. They, drop, into them, they the... drop them into the what's meant to oh, be a death you're right. trap. Yeah, they, they drop them in the pit. And they, and, but, they yeah. catch and they're holding on to each other's tails. And, yeah, well, and one of them, Leonardo one of them catches puts, onto, his, uh, puts his thing on the thing and then it stops the He catches the onto the knife. Thing. He catches onto a knife with like a little rope thing, and he's he's hanging them all up. Then the yeah, pyromaniac one the... sets his finger on fire and hoop, gives him a little yeah. light. And they look down, and it's like it's like a cone where there's spikes on every single wall, mm-hmm. and there's a giant spinning fan at the very bottom, and then a giant fire below that. It's yeah. like it's the most and elaborate. Also a, death a, a door, a door conveniently. One single right hole next, next to the fan, which yeah. doesn't make any sense at all. But nah, yeah. it's no. ventilation, man. It's, yeah, it's a ventilation. Have you ever designed a death trap it. like that? Yeah, who's your death trap guy? Don't. Yeah, you don't fucking. What do yeah. you get? Yeah. I don't have a death. You don't know trap nothing. Guy. Yeah, but they That's they they like throw one one of the uh, the ruse has like a hula hoop that he carries around. You can't the silent one. The silent one, and he throws he throws yeah. it. No, the silent the one doesn't have the the, yes, the silent one has He's, swords. It does. No, he doesn't. No, it's the outcast leader one. The... It's the out dude, dude. We just watched the no, clip. The no, no, shut the... up. The... No, I will pull it up wrong. again because this time I'm actually no, confident. The you're one, wrong. the one you're with the hula again. hoop. You're so wrong again. The He's one the with the hula hoop is the no, silver silent one. No, it's the quiet. 
Yes, no. that, that's what we yeah. were saying. Yeah, yes. that's not the that's leader the... one. The leader one's the one from the yeah, woods. We no, no one said it was the leader. We didn't say it's the leader. Then we're all saying the same thing. Don't, don't make yeah. Shut the fuck up. Quick, God, God damn. damn. You, you, that's not what you said at first. Don't get excused from ever talking about the fucking oh movie again. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> It, they uh, they basically they trap the fan with the hula hoop and they all get out this one tiny little ventilation hole and uh yeah we already did this move on Yi wants to get his hoop he can't he can't he has to like watch as it gets he destroyed. can but then uh then he gets it later but he gets he, he it somehow, somehow finds it yeah, again, yeah. and it. then um no, something it. else happens well this is uh after this this is when they find out no this is when they storm the the city the live spring and we get the the sick as fuck Splinter versus uh, Shredder mm, fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not really they, Shredder. That's the one thing that they, not, they didn't yeah. do. He's, cool. he's, he's, more, um, he's, he's cool, awesome. He's I love Shredder. it, but he's not. Like, yeah, I'm a big fan. He's he's super funny. 80s, 90s villain. He, uh, one of the most stereotypical, villain. probably. Yeah, he reminds but he's me a lot so of, fun. Reminds me a lot of the bad guy from Flash Gordon. Like Dan, you mentioned yeah, Flash Gordon yeah. when we were watching this, and I just I, maybe it's like the the makeup. But it reminds me a lot of that, and yeah. the overacting and everything. Right, that's uh, the big thing is the overacting. The, the overacting, like yeah, he'll just say hello yeah, and he'll just, villain. he'll like yell it to the back of the seat. Hello. Uh, but him and him and Splinter have a fight, and there's a lot of wire works and a lot of really cracked stunts. Where like, like yeah, it's all they, very fun. They, it's very fast moving, and which I really liked. Because you you compare, I'm gonna keep comparing this movie to Turtles too, because it makes me like this movie a bit more. <laughs> and like Turtles, admittedly, 2, not a fair comparison. No, not at all. But Turtles two, like the stunts are all so slow. They all look like g- guys in giant rubber suits that can't move because they that, are. Yeah. Turtles two is the it's only bad. of the '90s Turtles movies where that is the case, where they don't look good and the the set mm-hmm. the, the the actors don't move well in the suits. But this one is not that way. No, they, they're very fast. All the punches and kicks have like a nice weight to them. Yeah. And, you know, the, the you'll punch a guy and he'll go flying to the other side. Yes. Right. The, the, stunts, the stunts in this feel more comparable to the, fir- the first and last of the 90s Turtles movies than yeah. Peter yeah. the Ooze right. stunts do. Specifically uh, but- three, because three had some excellent stunt work. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, during this whole thing, Ryan's just watching this fight and uh, Splinter's trying to get him to run. He's trying to get him to, to, to escape. Splinter? But uh, oh, eventually, yeah, yeah. We're still at the Splinter eventually, fight. I thought we were at the end fight already. No, no. Eventually, Komodo oh, slices yet. him in half with like a super sick... Like He doesn't actually get him with a sword, but he does the movement and the sword just cuts yeah, him the whole Yeah, he Obi-Wan yeah. Kenobi's him. Star Wars ripoff. Yeah. The Turtles comparison bumps us right. up to eight. <laughs> right yeah but splinter gets sliced in half and komodo ultimately kidnaps ryan and the 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 town gets overtaken everyone gets taken prisoner and the ruse have to to hide and take Can't off call them that that's their word so that they can they can find each other in peace uh then while while ryan is finally kidnapped komodo is trying to win him over and he's like hey if you read from this book you know i'll make your leg work permanently for forever for life and so ryan decides to take a look at the book and it's completely empty. Uh, this is where Kung Fu Panda got its inspiration from. And but, he, but Josh, he can't read the book because he was going to do it for evil. He evil had to read the book evil. for good. He had Correct. to do it for good, Josh. Yeah, this for is good. also when Komodo's just like, okay, if you can't for read the book. For virtue. Yeah, he says I'm, that. He's like, if you can't read this book, you're useless virtuous. to me. And then he tries to kill <laughs> and I'm, I, I'm, yeah. I'm going to kill you. Which is when the uh, princess steps up and is like, hey, I'm not that bad a guy. And yeah, she, she, she stops she him. She shoots her rope at him. She sh- I thought it was her dress. Like, yeah, she well, it was, it was like her scarf or something. Yeah. It was, yeah. yeah. But and, it she like has rope. superpowers. Right. She she has very ill-defined superpowers, which stop Komodo from killing Ryan. I think it but, was like it was like a magic thing. She was a yeah. magic witch. Yeah. They called but, her but witch. When she does this, she gets stabbed Fancy. in the back by one of Komodo's henchmen. And uh, yeah, ultimately dies. Yeah, well, this, this this character who did absolutely nothing. Yeah, I was about to say. Too dies. bad I don't care about her yeah, at all. Not one bit. Like it didn't establish her character. It gave. I mean, I guess it gave her the smallest possible arc, but it was it was it, nothing. Like, like, it was like the bare minimum. It was. Arc. It was. It, yeah. It was a scene where she's good. A scene where she's bad. A, a scene, scene where, where she's, she's good. Bad, again. And then good again. Yeah. Right. It, like like and then it's, she dies. It's literally just like someone went, hey, why don't you have this character in the movie 
and they just added like the very very minimum so that they and could she was in love with a kid i don't know i think what, that was I she think that was, i think that was us joking and taking it right she she had like a brotherly love because she said she rem- yeah. he reminded her of her brother yeah like like it was a, it was a <laughs> think... love not a not a Creepy, nah, nah, I, th- I think right. it's creepy and romantic. This is, um, this is... <laughs> no, Neon Genesis. Uh... <laughs> average, yeah. average Genshin Impact <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so Ryan uses this time and he escapes. There's a there's a giant rhino and a water buffalo that we haven't even talked about. Yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. they were cool. They the, looked like the, a the only Disney other animatronic era Star Wars in animatronic. Yeah, but, but they're yeah. great. And they, they happen to be like in this this castle that Ryan's in because they've been imprisoned, and he mm. he yells out their names. One of like them is like or something. One of them's like like really Willy Rock, something like that. It had Willy in the name, so I remember. Willy Rock and Bimbalore. Yeah, it's, and, it's and, and William and Buffalo. Right. Uh, yeah. Bebop they and they Freddy. like throw literally throw themselves at the guards to not Toka them down and so Ryan can escape. Toka and Razor. <laughs> right. Uh, Ryan gets back to the village where the, 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 not the turtles, the kangaroos are. They're mourning the, the death of Splinter. The kangaroos. kangaroos. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, he has a conversation with them. He's like, hey guys, I really messed up. You know, I can't read. Help me. Uh, and they go, okay, we're going to end this fight. So they, they call Komodo. No, they confront Komodo because he's just sitting in their village now. Uh, and they, they step up and they're like, hey, we're ready to defeat you. This is when Komodo clones himself? Kind oh, of just, yeah. I forgot about, I forgot that. about yeah, that. that. Yeah, the, 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 the funny, funny when the quality of the like, film drops like yeah. <laughs> right. to, to like eight millimeter uh, for a second. Yeah. And then and then he just clones himself and then they all just defeat him instantly. Like it did not matter that he cloned yeah. himself. Right. They, they, I get they, they were trying to make the ending them. fight they, like more exciting. Something no, something happened where he both him and um Kid disappeared, him and Ryan disappeared, him and Ryan Gosling disappeared. Um Did he disappear then, or was it just Ryan? No, I think I think him and all his clones disappeared. That's no, no, why. No, so him and his clones yeah. fight with the kangaroos, with the kangaroos, and it's it's all a right. really well done fight. You know, it's a lot it of really is. cool yeah. stunts. Very again, cool, again, fun. a lot of yeah. cool wire work, a lot of cool stunts. It mm-hmm. looks visually very good. Uh, mm-hmm. And then they figure out earlier when when he sliced the dude in half, he like used up some of his power, and so he got a bit weaker for mm. a while because he was like on the ground crawling. And they realize, like, if they can do that again, they might be able to defeat him. So they, yeah. they, right, I think right, that's right, when right, right. Ryan does read from the book so that he gives him yeah, more power. Ryan and, like, does read from the book. Oh, yeah. He, he reads from the book. Then at some point, he tears it up, but he keeps one page and crumples it up so that he can get home or something. Yeah. yeah and it, it basically, it mortally wounds Ryan and it overloads yes. uh, Komodo. Yeah. So they, they manage to defeat Komodo. And like they cheer until all of Komodo's men march on the town and are about to kill them. But Komodo's fine. He just has like amnesia and he doesn't remember who he is anymore. Right. And, oh, and yeah. the, 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 the Rue, yeah, wh- whichever like, one of the oh. whichever one of the Rues it was is just like, stop fighting, friends. Let's be buddies. And then they're I like, oh, okay, let's be buddies. And that's when yeah, that's yeah. when Komodo just walks out and he's and, got well, amnesia. it was it was the guy, it was the guy that set up that he was had a good heart earlier because Splinter poked him with the stick and that, made him yeah, paralyzed. He's like, hey, you're, you're a good this. guy. You just uh, then, you know, this, hot is, or this is when uh, yeah, this is when the movie kind of on. this is when the movie kind of gets a bit weird because Ryan is dying on the ground and then this, this is when it gets weird. This, 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 this is when this is when it gets a bit weird. I think Ryan is dying on the ground and all Correct. the kangaroos come around him Correct. and the uh, the silent one who he developed a handshake with earlier gives him a little handshake yeah, and and says to him the first you. words in this movie and he was like thank you Ryan uh, and, yeah. and then Ryan like disintegrates kind of like you know becomes a load of, of was... glitter and stars and stuff yeah and then we cut back to him in the sewer on the pipe above the vortex. Was, yeah, before right. the he scene, like the scene before yeah, he fell when in. When he before first, when he, he first fell in, him the the spray paint cam. Yeah, where he like, was like like yeah. he hadn't 
the 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 pipe hadn't come through yet. He hadn't fallen yet, in yet, which create creates a paradox in that it had to have been a dream or it wouldn't be possible because now if he doesn't no. fall in, nothing ever happened. No. Because now no. he's in the past, it creates a time no, loop. It's a, it's a different dimension. No, it's a different universe. It man. doesn't matter. But, the but way to get to that is. universe is through the pipe. It, you have Back to the Future 2, dude. The universe never stops existing. No, but I can... I Like, it makes sense that the, in the magic of the other universe, it takes him back to just before he fell into the Yeah, universe. it's magic, like it, man. It's, it's also, it's, it's so clearly supposed to be a dream. It's, I don't. It's I classic don't. '90s kids true. movie. They all I end in dreams. No, because they, they all end in yeah, like, it oh, it could have been a dream, but it's real, right? No, it, no it's, it's like, like how... you're saying at the beginning. It could have been like, oh, he's he's dying and dealing with his mortality. Like all of them, but it's well, no, it's not nah. even that. He just made it up. It was just his no. overexciting no, it's imagination. Just like, it's like, it's like Peter Pan. It's like Peter nah, Pan. Where he's like... just uh, magical, and he's got the kung fu in him. Nah. Exactly. Yeah. No, I mean, he's no, got it's that not, dog. It's totally in him. a dream. But, all right. If you're if you're nah, listening at home, watch this movie and comment whether or not you think it's a dream. But. It's before, yeah. before it's streaming uh, on Tubi. Everybody check out Tubi. Uh, this episode yeah, sponsored out by Tubi. Tubi. This video is sponsored by Tubi and we, we are, Blue Ribbon. For legal reasons, also, we are not sponsored by Tubi. Um, uh, who made this 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 uh, Silent Night Deadly Night Two sweater? Uh, uh Amazon. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to say we're sponsored by Amazon. But for, for legal by... reasons, we are also not sponsored by Tubi. No, yeah, we're sponsored not by yet. Tubi. Tubi sponsors this episode. Yeah. I, we, for legal reasons, we are not sponsored by Tubi. Yeah, but, but this the, episode uh, sponsored by Tubi. I don't think. I don't think it's. Like, I don't think it, there's anything legally. I, I this do not episode. Want to take that risk. This episode is brought to you by Tubi. Yeah, that part is true because Tubi has true. made this episode possible. We'll say that. Yeah, this, yeah, this, tu- episode, this, episode, was, this episode. This episode was made possible by Tubi, and yeah. viewers like you. Thank you, and, and viewers, viewers like you. you. But before uh, before Ryan, you know, and makes his choice, <laughs> back to back to the movie we don't care about. Before Ryan makes his choice, uh, his friend Chucky says, and I quote, "Why don't you make like Tom and Cruz?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say that twice. Yeah, he says he says that before, it, and then he doesn't listen to him, and he goes through the portal, and then he says it again mm-hmm. at the end, which is how you know yeah. it's 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 before. it's a dream. It's not a dream, because how would he know it's not because he. That? Well, he didn't know his friend was going to say that, to be fair. We just knew that. He just reacted differently. Right. But yeah, he... But this I, time I, he, I, cho- I choose to believe... Um, this time, he learns that his actions do not need to be defined by the, the people who bully him. Right. And he, he, he learns off. a moral lesson in his brain. Yeah, and also it wasn't true. And he walks off, and then he leaves his bully to be stranded and starved to death because the pipe bursts and it leaves him stuck on the other side of this giant. Right, water. the pipe will I don't shut think off. That's what was going to happen. Although I do think the pipe broke. Like, no, the I think pipe it, broke. Yeah, yeah it like snapped in half. Like, broke, which, yeah. like, how does that not happen every time? <laughs> right. It's just because I don't know. No, it's cause, it's because his uh, his weight on there changed magic. the balance. It's because mm. of magic. No, it's it's because of magic. It, it was it was this movie's a dream. It was it the ruse. Of the it was magic. the ruse. They broke that it. That part wasn't a tree. Yeah, it was the Kung ruse. Uh, it's magic, actually. Cool. Uh, but yeah, Ryan, Ryan heads home, and, and he, he realizes that he shouldn't he be her. appeasing to uh, to bullies. Yeah. He tells his mom he loves her, and then he yeah. tells his uh, his dog that about this lovely place called Tao that he went to because it wasn't a dream and it was real. It's totally yeah. a dream, without a doubt. Was not a dream. If it was a dream, was... he wouldn't. How would he know about Tao? Because Ming yeah, and that. also yeah, it was a like, dream. The whole, the whole. What him do you going mean? How would he know? He remember. knew because he was in the dream. No, because he remembered the Tom Cruise thing, and he remembered. And he didn't the... remember the Tom Cruise. Okay, thing. no, he, but how would he be able to predict it if it was a dream? Because he that was in that was in the because movie. Because his friends always saying was stupid his... stuff. Nah, but how would he know that specific one? No way he says it that often. I don't believe it. If you have a bar uh-huh. like let's make like Tom and Cruz, you are saying buy. that what every single time you're leaving. What about the pipe, man? What about the pipe? What, what about, about the pipe? How, how did he know it's gonna break? He didn't know it was gonna break. It didn't break with he him. Did. He fell off when he got hit with the water. Yep. No, the 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 pipe watering. I mean. Yeah, because he saw a giant pipe there. Nah. 
But it but it did water. It pooped. Yeah, it dumped. as it probably <laughs> does regularly because it's yeah, a sewer pipe. Yeah, but he wouldn't pipe. know that. But he wouldn't know that. He's like a dumb kid. Man, he can't I, even walk. What, I just, okay, so just this is kind of unrelated. But what do you think the budget for this movie was? Uh, I'm gonna say it, it was, was pretty high. No, I remember we looked. I feel like I remember we looked it up. It I remember like, the budget being like high and million. it made no it like money. Thirty million. I feel like it was like thirty million and it made like three million. Okay. I feel like I, I feel like I remember. It being I don't remember the, exact numbers. I think the budget was high, and this movie did not make well, much money at all. You were you were both you were both somewhat that. you were both somewhat correct. The okay. budget was thirty five million. Mm. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm crediting myself for the correct on that one. And it made six million. Yeah, okay. that was close yeah. enough. Yeah, the, I just like to say the first line on this this page is the film was a critical and commercial failure. Yeah, and, yeah. And, so as we're kind of wrapping this up, <laughs> I can I see loved it why. Like I can completely yeah, no, see. No, 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 I fully understand. Why. This, yeah. this no, is I not. It, this is sure. a movie we like because we like this stuff. This mm-hmm. movie's not very good. This movie, no. this movie is stupid. Uh, yes. It is slow <laughs> in parts. Dumb. It's, it's. I can see why this movie didn't catch on. It's, oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, well, will I ever watch this again? Basically, just no. Like, no, not never. No. We will, however, be watching the sequel for it. Um, I do kind of want to watch the second one. Yeah, yeah I, we probably I will. Just, somewhere, I somewhere, really somewhere down the line, that's gonna happen. Yeah, when we do sequel sweep. Yeah. Right, right. Um. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, as a as a if you like bad movies and you like the Ninja Turtles mm-hmm. and you want to watch if a fun you, little Turtles knockoff that's not actually a Turtles knockoff if, at if all. You like if, fun, if you like fun fantasy movies and you like if you like, like um, Power Rangers, if you like yeah, if you like like Power Rangers or old, if you like the nineties Mortal Kombat movies, Ninja movies, yeah, like but without that. the CGI, mm-hmm. this is what you should you should watch. But no, I can't say I'd recommend this to anyone. No. I'd recommend it to um, myself. Would you? Um, yeah. You would watch this again? No, I wouldn't. Ex- I wouldn't take that recommendation. Mm. Would <laughs> would recommend it to myself? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. yeah. It, it there's a lot of like I say there's a lot of good stunts. The the kangaroos look fantastic in a terrifying way. Like they they, do. they look. They, they look realistic. Admittedly, they do look great. Yeah, they look fantastic, but they look too good. They they, they, they look, look creepy, uncanny valley type. Mm-hmm. They look so it would be, realistic. It would be great, kind of creepy. It would be great to be repurposed into horror movie um right. villain character creatures. Right. Just um, like Josh scrolling in the bottom video of this. Correct. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Much like our good friend Joshua Clements, aka the Joker baby. But yeah, I also another weird thing is like I know we just broke down the plot, but and, and as it's clear from our breakdown of the plot, I also just don't remember a ton from this. The mm-hmm. the characterization of the the kung fu kangaroos is it sticks out especially. I don't remember their names at all. Like I don't, they're not characterized super differently. It's uh, just kind of yeah, sad. They're all the they, they just they're, they're, they're they totally like make, heroic. Yeah, That's they try it. and make right. one of them Mikey by making him funny once and having he's him funny once the and they say he's he's a goofball at the beginning yeah, but it's like they have they have the thing with the fire but they don't actually do anything with no. it no and, and so they're are, all the same all of all, all of the good it's guys cool. except for for what the ryan are exactly the same and all of the yeah. bad guys except for the main bad guy are exactly the same and so it's just like there's this overwhelming sense of girls, boringness yeah. kind of throughout the whole thing because every character is the exact same person, which mm-hmm. that kind of stinks. Yeah. Uh, it spends a little too the, much time in the real world at the beginning. The, this also, movie has yeah, the a lot of it, problem. It's not even that it spends too much time in the real world. It's that none of the stuff in the real world contributed Matters. or had any payoff. Yeah. Yeah, if it, it if it, I, I, said to, I said to you guys earlier, like during the real world stuff, I wonder how much of it's going to be like – the bully is the bad guy in the fancy land, but it, yeah, like, no, I was near, no, like shark boy and lava. Where everyone, everyone's right, just like right. an evil, over the top version of themselves in this fancy land. But that's just that wasn't the case at all. They they literally do not exist for any reason. No, but it, the bully it, got kind of wet at the end. That it has the opposite problem that the turtle sequels have, where like where the turtle sequels, everyone became Mikey in this movie. Yeah. They they all became too heroic. Like, they, they all became just... Leo. 
Which yeah, is the, the worst right, character if like, you're all going to be the same character. <laughs> right, yeah. Like, Nobody like, wants a movie just, just about Leo. That's why they, TMNT they all, sucks. They, they're all just there like, you know, oh, we have to we have to save the day. We have to distribute justice and virtue. And then that's it. There's no, like, funny quips. There's no, like, like I said, there's no individuality to any of them. Right. Which is um, it, it, it really important to, to, to a movie like this, I think. All right. We got to wrap it up, though. Um, but I do agree. Yeah. It, this this movie's not very good. Um, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. It kind of. <laughs> but if you do like bad movies, actually, I would recommend it to you. So yeah. watch that. And if you like the turtles and you want to watch a movie uh, about the turtles, next week we begin our new sweep, TMNT sweep. So not nope. TM, nope. No, uh, Scooby Doo sweep. Scooby Doo sweep. <laughs> we will see you uh, next week on the very next episode of Simi Pro. Bye.